Hi, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. This week we're doing a request. It's Jurassic Park, the theme tune to Jurassic Park. I've been and checked the original version, so I'm not sure if the newer films are slightly different. I don't know, but I'm going to be sticking to the original, which has kind of made me nostalgic. I might have to go and watch the film after. I'm using a C harmonica. The song itself, if you wanted to play along with it, you'd need a B flat. I just thought I'd use a C because pretty much everyone has a C. So we will be playing it on a C, but it does get a bit high on the harmonica. It goes quite far up, so it does get a little bit squeaky on a C harmonica. So if you've got a B flat, um, obviously you'll need a C to play along with me in the video, but a B flat will work slightly better and will mean you can play along with the original. I've tried to tab out the main bulk of the score, if you like. Obviously with anything that's classical, such as this or you know the string arrangements you have to kind of pick a part of it so I hope the part that I picked is this sounds like a tongue twister a part that I picked apart I hope that it's the part that you wanted to play here we go so the first line we've just got four blow and then four blow three draw four blow okay so Okay. Now in terms of the timing of this, with anything that's an orchestra piece, often they move and, and ebb and flow and they sort of there's pregnant pauses before they move on. So it's quite hard to talk about the timing of it without playing along with the song. So I would recommend you um, get hold of the recording and have a listen. Obviously, you would need your B flat for that, but to try and move an ebb and flow with the music. But that first line. I have put some dots there for the amount of beats, if you like. So that first note held for three beats. Um, da, 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 da. I think the last note held for three beats as well. And then we've got a uh, second line. And that's four blow, three draw, four blow. And then four draw, four draw, five draw, five draw. Okay, so I'll play that again. Okay, great. So line C, we've got And the tab I've got is five blow, four draw, four, uh, sorry, five blow, four blow, four draw, three draw, three blow, and then five blow, four blow, four draw. Okay, I'll play that again. I kind of slid across for that five blow there because the first half of the line ends on the three blow and then you have to get to the five blow. I did a, a little rip up the harmonica. I kind of did it out of laziness, but you might want to um, do that. It, it is something that's, if you, if you feel it's appropriate, then you can do it. Okay, let's try those first three lines together. So we're going to do lines A, B, C. Here we go. One, two. I got a sticky reed in the middle there, which is why I was a bit late. The end of line B. I was um, a bit late coming in with that five draw because I got a sticky, didn't want to play there. <laughs> okay, so line D sounds something like this. So that's six blow, four blow, five draw, five blow, five blow, four draw, four draw. Okay, I'll play that again.
And with all of this, I'm just trying to play them not as nice and clean as possible. Often I, I use tongue slapping and rhythmic backing for things, but this sort of melody, I just think nice clean notes sounds good. So I'm kind of just aiming for as clean notes as I can. So when you're playing this, really good practice for getting good clean notes moving around the harmonica. And we're going to start moving further up the harmonica to the higher notes now. So we're going to do almost a repeat of what we've done early in the tune line on line A, but we're going to be an octave up, okay? So before we were playing a B, a, a C, a B, and a C, four blow, three draw, four blow. We're still going to be playing a C, a B, and a C, but we'll be doing it the next notes up. So we'll be on hole seven, and it'll go. So line E is seven blow, seven draw, seven blow, and then same again, seven blow, seven draw, seven blow. So you can tell it sounds similar to because we're moving up to the next octave. Okay, so line E. And then line F starts with the same three notes, seven blow, seven draw, seven blow. But then we're gonna go really, really high up the harmonica. We've got eight draw, eight draw, nine draw, nine draw. This is where it gets a bit squeaky and this would be the advantage of having a B flat would be a bit lower and a bit nicer. So line F sounds something like this. Okay, I'll play that again. Cool, great. Let's try from the start. Let's try lines A to F. So we'll start on that four draw right at the start of line A. We'll be on four. In on four, our counters. In on four. One, two, three, four. Okay, getting a bit squeaky there. I'm trying to play it quite softly. There's probably a bit more oomph to it in the recorded version, so you might want to put a bit more into it. In terms of speed as well, again with orchestral pieces, classical pieces, they kind of the speed comes and and goes. So I think it does speed up as the momentum comes as we go on into the second half here. So part G, we've got. Okay, and that's eight blow, seven blow, eight draw, seven draw, six blow, and then just eight blow, seven draw, eight blow. So the same three notes from the start of the line. Okay, I'll play that again, line G. And once more. Good. Line H sounds something like this. I'll play that again. So we've got nine blow, seven blow, and then nine draw, eight blow, eight blow, eight draw, eight draw. So if I put that together with line G, just to put those two lines together, we'd have. Good. 
Great. So we've only got three lines left. We've got I, J, and K. This is the big building part of the tune. There is more to follow from the tab that I've got. There is more that comes after that, but there's quite a lot going on, and I thought this was a good place to finish with these three lines. So we've got line I. This is the really recognisable bit of Jurassic Park. This is the bit you'd really know. This is the part that if I was going to slap the notes at any point, I might... Something like that. Although that didn't sound very good, so maybe not. <laughs> seven blow, seven draw, seven blow. Six blow, five draw. And it's just that twice, okay? Great. Now we've got line J. This line is a bit tricky because there's an overblow right at the end of it and it's a held overblow. So I'm sort of dreading it because uh, I don't like having to hold an overblow note. I don't do that much overblowing. If you can't overblow, maybe just leave that note out or try substituting it for a slightly different note. So the line we're going for, line J, is... That last note at the end there, the squeaky, not very nice sounding one, was a six overblow. So we've got seven blow, seven draw, seven draw, seven blow, and then six blow, four blow, six overblow. It's a shame there's just one note in there. I found this with a few of the tunes that I've been asked to tab out, that there's just one overblow somewhere in it. Okay. It would be possible to play this an octave down just using bends. If you wanted to work out where it was further down, the six overblow would be a three draw semitone bend. So if you've got bends but not overblows, maybe try moving it. It'd be a good little practice um, to have to move it down an octave. But if you can't get the overblow at all, you could maybe just... Just put a seven blow, maybe. You could try a six draw as well. It's never going to be quite the same, but... If you're working on your overblows, this is a very good reason to get them into your playing for this sort of line, okay? So I'll just play it again with the overblow. And I'm try trying to hold it, but not hold it too long because it's just it's just really difficult to get overblows to sound as, as nice as, as normal, natural notes on the harmonica. So... Probably, I probably wouldn't hold it as long as the recording, unless you're a really good overblower, which I'm not. So if you've got great overblows, hold it as long as you like. Da, 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 da. Is a nice held note in the original. And then the final line we've got here, line K. If you look back to line I, it's the same tab as that, but then with three notes tagged on the end, so a seven blow, seven draw, seven blow, just added to the end of that line, okay? So the line in full would be seven blow, seven draw, seven blow, five, uh, six blow, five draw, seven blow, seven draw, seven blow, six blow, five draw, and then seven blow, seven draw, seven blow. And at that point, there is more to the tune, but there's quite a lot of different parts almost almost fighting each other for a bit and then it kind of tapers off i thought this was a good place to finish for us so sounds like a resolution sounds like the end doesn't it Great, fantastic. Well, that is the end of our tab. All that's left to do is try playing the whole thing together. So we'll go right back to the start and we'll try going the whole way through. I'll try and do it somewhat like the speed of the song, but it does ebb and flow and we're not going to be playing along with it. So hopefully you'll be able to play along with this. Here we go. One, two, three, four.
okay, great. So, the overblow bits of a standout note there, so not sounding particularly lovely the way I played it there. Hopefully yours sounds better than that. That's the main bulk of the melody for you there, so that's Jurassic Park theme tune. Obviously change that note if you need to, uh, add your own embellishments if you feel you'd like to. If you've enjoyed this video, please click like, please share it with people who you think will enjoy it. Also, put your comments, your questions, your queries, any songs you'd like me to look at in the future, please let me know in the comments or email me, contact at learnharmonica.com or find me on Facebook or Twitter as well. I'll see you again next week for another song. Until then, enjoy playing and see you soon. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.